An uneven zigzag pattern is a fun variation of a traditional Bargello zigzag. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So you may have seen some of my other Bargello embroidery videos where I show you different materials that you can use and how to get started stitching and the most basic stitch option, which is just a plain zigzag. Well, today I'm taking that plain zigzag and just adding a little bit of interest by giving it uneven spacing. This uneven zigzag is fun and easy to do, so let's get started stitching. I'm stitching this sample on plastic canvas with yarn, but check my other video if you're interested in different fabric and thread combinations. So I'm beginning by finding the center row so that my design will be centered left to right. In the center row, I will take a stitch over two squares in the canvas. Because this is the foundation row, I'm only stitching with half of the yarn. And then once I get to the end, I will go back and stitch the other half. This is an easy way to make sure that my stitching is centered. So now I'm going to continue this design going down for three steps. Once I've taken three stitches down, now I'm going to begin going up and I will go up for five steps. So the pattern that I'm doing goes up and down in the zigzag and it switches between five steps and three steps. So you can see it goes up for five, down for three, up for three, and then down for five, and so on. Feel free to be creative and use your own numbers to make your zigzag however you want. Once you get to the end of the row, secure the thread and trim it. Then come back and thread the other end of the yarn and stitch the other side of the row in a mirror image. And here's the full row. All the rest of the rows will be stitched following this base row as a reference. So we can just start on one end and stitch across to the other end. To secure the end of this thread, I'm just holding it on the back and then doing my stitches over top of it so that the end is woven in automatically. So stitch all the stitches in this row following the base row as a guide. The rest of the rows will stitch in the same way, but at the top and the bottom of the piece, there will be partial stitches. That's all there is to it. Have fun with this design by playing with your own color combinations or by making your own zigzag step up and down in whatever numbers you want. There's no right or wrong way to do it and I'm sure you'll be able to come up with a lot of fun options. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out evadastudio.com.